guys uh i'm gonna have a tough time explaining what it is here anyway here is a new radic board a new radic board that i just built and it's got the two uh ade ones uh, the modem coupling transformers uh bandpass filters little rf amplifier up there in the corner and we have bandpass filters for 40 and 20 right now it's on 40 and so we're, we're producing the I and Q out of these two ADE1s, which are on the board here. I made it pretty big so he could do a lot of work. So then um, I had this idea about injecting a, uh, an LO using the SI5351 controlled with a Arduino Uno. And so we'll put the in input frequency is at four times. And then the 74 AC 74 uh, divides that by four, so we produce the uh, quadrature signals at uh, seven megahertz as the LO, so that then we can produce the I and Q channels. Then I run that into a little sound card right here, and then this goes into an ASUS tinker board. Now I discovered something. I thought I was going to tune everything here, and you notice it's set set for 7200. But then when I called up the Quisk. I discovered something that goes back to the early days of soft rock. The early days of the soft rock transceivers used a fixed crystal frequency uh, for the operation, and they were able to tune either side of that by about uh, the width of the uh, of the sound card. So, if you had it nominally uh, on one frequency, you could tune maybe 24 kilohertz either either side to give you about 48 kilohertz. So I thought I was going to do all the tuning with this, but instead, I can use the the Arduino just like the crystal, just like the crystal before crystal frequency for injection, and then the sound card can pick up uh, 48 kilohertz. But what I have found is I can actually tune it using the Quisk, so I can uh, inject the frequency in there. And uh, then use the uh, Quest to tune the signal, and then all the functionality of the Quest software, upper sideband, lower sideband, uh, the, the narrowing of the bandwidth, and everything else, uh, you can use it because it's just like the so uh, sort of the off-graded soft rock. So this may be another way to do it without uh, going through some of the uh, gyrations that you have to go through. So it's an Arduino Uno, SI5351 off of clock zero, uh, putting out a signal of 28 megahertz is the LO divided by four. The two I and Q channels are developed here, and it goes through the sound sound card into the tinker board. And then I have there's a, a dongle sound card that is driving the speaker over here. So let's see if I can move this. Let me try. Hold on one here. I'm trying to hold the camera and do everything at the same time. This could be cool. Just a kind of a rudimentary uh, SDR now. About keying the transmitter, uh, they normally you have an interface board that uh, takes a signal from the Quisk and, and then it triggers uh, a, 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 through the USB port. So I'm going to have to see about making an interface to USB so when you when you key spot, it'll actually uh, put this on transmit. So we may be able to come up with a little functionality here uh, to be a, kind of a simplimi simplified homebrew SDR. Hey, there you go. How about that? So we're using the Quisk, and this is another form just like the early soft rocks, only we're using the SI5351 to provide the yellow. And I did uh, 
tune this down so that you could uh, get it and get it on uh, FT8. So now the only problem I got to work on is uh, how to key the transmitter off the USB. So I got to look at the schematics a little bit and see how we can do that. Anyway, I'm kind of excited because this is another SDR transceiver here using a little bit different technique. There's there's the basic Radic board, SI5351 providing the LO, and then the Quisk doing all the decoding. So you get the nice waterfalls and everything else. Here, let's see if we can see the waterfall. There you go. How about that, guys? Pete here, N6QW. More with the Homebrew SDR. I don't. This is just something I tripped over this afternoon, so this uh, could be kind of exciting. Another form of FCR. Wow. Pete here, N6QW. Tinkerboard. Asus Tinkerboard right there. Seven dot one eight five, and I've got the LO injection at seven dot two two o o. So we're able to tune this about forty eight kilohertz, uh, either side of seven uh, twenty four kilohertz either side. Well, I think forty eight either side of uh, seven dot two hundred. This could be cool. Look at that spectrum. It works. Manpass filters, little RF amplifier stage, main radic board, SI5351 for injection, uh, Arduino Uno, a 9 volt regulated supply, color TFT. Yep, the genius is at work. 